having an SSD is kind of getting essential these days. I mean, a lot of people need to have a uh, fast PC, a fast desktop, laptop, whatever. We all need a fast device at home because a lot of us are working from home. A lot of us are studying at home. So, you know, loading applications faster is a big advantage for us as we can have better productivity. And of course, for those gamers, I'm pretty sure that you would love to have a very fast SSD so you can load those large games like Call of Duty Warzone faster. And of course, for our console, like the PlayStation 5, in which uh, the console requires a lot of storage because, you know, the 825 gigs of storage inside those PS5s are not enough. Thankfully, we got something up for review, and it's the Seagate Firecuda 530 M.2 NVMe PCIe Gen 4 SSD. I know, it's a Gen 4 SSD, which means that this one is faster compared to other SSDs that we have reviewed before. If, in case you didn't know, the PlayStation 5 requires a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, so you could install PS5 games on the SSD because... The PS5 requires a fast uh, read and write speeds for the SSD and only the PCIe Gen 4 SSD can suffice that satisfaction from Sony. In case you're not familiar, a lot of SSDs right now in the market are either a SATA SSD, a PCIe 3.0 SSD, and um, they're a lot slower compared to the one that we have right now, the PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Basically, this one promises uh, read speeds of up to 7,300 megabytes per second, while there's a uh, promise of 6,800 megabytes per second for the write speeds. That is almost two times the speed of uh, the PCIe Gen 3 and 12 times faster than the SATA SSDs that we have in the market right now. So why do we need it? Well, of course, we need to have a PC that is future-proof. And for those people who love to play games, like what I've said earlier, a lot of games right now are um, really large, you know, and they require a uh, faster SSD so they can load those objects, those uh, sprites faster compared to other SSD. And for PlayStation 5, again, they require a PCIe Gen 4 SSD. So for gamers, having a PCIe Gen 4 SSD is essential. Of course, your PC or your motherboard should support this one so you could take advantage of the fast speeds of the PCIe Gen 4. Like what I said earlier, there's a big leap in performance when it comes to PCIe Gen 3 versus the PCIe Gen 4. So for the Fire CUDA 530 SSD that we are reviewing right now, it comes in a Micron 176L TLC memory. and in case you didn't know, Seagate is known to be a, a really reliable SSD brand. I'm actually using their external hard disk and uh, I've been using it for years already and I'm um, really happy with its performance and also its reliability. So I'm pretty sure that this one would last really long. So the Firecuda 530 uh, SSD comes in a black PCB with stickers on both sides of course and uh, for the one that we are reviewing right now, unfortunately, we do not have um, the included heatsink. So I use a third-party heatsink for my PlayStation 5. The SSD comes in 500 gig, 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, and 4 terabyte options. So the one that we're reviewing comes in 1 terabyte memory. And I think that's already enough uh, considering that I only uh, play selected games and um, I don't play Warzone. So that's a really large game. But yeah, I'm already fine with this one. In case you haven't bought an SSD before but you want to upgrade your laptop or your desktop, first be sure that your laptop or your desktop supports PCIe Gen 4 SSD. It's actually very easy to install the SSD on the PlayStation 5. I just need to... Uh, remove the panel on the side and just unscrew some screws and install it with the heatsink. It's very essential that you have the heatsink because the PlayStation 5 tends to have a hotter and uh, more demanding uh, processes on the SSD. So you need to have a cooler SSD for that one. Again, it's very easy to install and once I plug it in on the PS5, all you need to do is turn it on and just format the SSD and that won't be a problem anymore. You can also see the speeds after you format the SSD and after that, you can install your games 
to the SSD of the PS5. So you can install more games. I mean, aside from the 825 gigs of internal storage of the PS5. So you're probably curious about the speeds that we got on the Seagate Fire Cuda 530 SSD. Well, I'm pretty happy with the results that I got on different benchmarking applications. On AS SSD, we got a uh, 5,866 megabytes per second for the read speeds and up to 5,639 megabytes speeds for the write speeds. Well, this is way below than I uh, expected for AS SSD. However, in Atto Disk Benchmark, we got a uh, read speeds of 6.85 gigs uh, per second and 5.47 gigs for uh, the write speeds. That is quite near to the promised speeds of uh, Seagate for the SSD. And again, I'm not expecting that it would reach uh, the same number, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the result that we got on this one. In Crystal Disk Mark, we got a read speeds of up to 7,368 megabytes per second for the read speeds and 5,855 for the write speeds. This is the fastest SSD that we have reviewed and I'm really happy that we were able to reach up to 7,368 for the read speeds of this SSD. So if you're planning game, pl planning to play games on your PC, really large games, this won't be a problem. If you're planning to install your operating system on this one, this won't be a problem. This will be really, really fast, I promise you. And with those read and write speeds, transferring files from one SSD to another won't be uh, a problem for you because you can transfer your files really, really fast. I've also noticed that it tends to be hotter than the PCIe Gen 3 SSDs that I have. So I highly suggest that you get the heatsink for the uh, Firecuda 530 SSD so you can have a more consistent and better thermos and performance on the SSD. And again, when you're planning on using this one on the PS5, I highly suggest that you get the heatsink for the PS5 so you could get a consistent performance on the console. So you know already that this one comes with a faster speeds, but of course it also comes with some freebies inside this one. As you can see in the box, this one comes with a rescue data recovery services included. So it means that in case you're planning on using this one for work or even for um, very sensitive files, you can um, recover your files on this one because it comes with this software and the software that is, that is included uh, for the Seagate SSD is very user-friendly. I'm pretty sure that uh, that won't be a problem for you and I was really happy with the software that I used for the Seagate SSD. But the best part is that the Seagate Firecuda 530 SSD comes with a 5 years of warranty. So this one uh, will last really long so if you're planning on future-proofing your desktop or your laptop well seagate got you protected with its uh, five years of warranty so overall the seagate firecuda 530 ssd is one of the fastest ssds not just that we have reviewed but also in the market right now i highly recommend this one if you're a gamer whether you're planning in, on using on your desktop your pc or your playstation 5 i highly recommend this one because of its consistent performance and of course we all know that seagate is a reliable brand and of course don't forget that five years warranty so you can get this one at Shopee or at Lazada. So just pick one, you can get it. And it comes in, again, different storage sizes. So yeah, I guess that's it for our review of the Seagate Firecuda 530 SSD. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.